Hey, welcome back. My name is Sushant Sudish and I am your trainer for this Azure Data Fundamentals DP900 Certification Examination course. In this video, we're going to learn about roles and responsibilities in the world of data. And in this lesson, there is two objectives. We're going to explore the data job roles and we're going to explore the common tasks and tools for data job roles. So without wasting any more time, let's get into it. There's a wide variety of roles involved in managing, controlling, and using data. Some roles are business oriented, some involve more engineering, and some focus on research. And some are hybrid roles that combine different aspects of data management. In this video, I will take you through some of the most common job roles in the world of data. Your organization may define roles differently or give them different names, but the roles described in this video encapsulate the most common division of labor and responsibility. So what are the roles in the world of data? There are primarily three key job roles that deal with data in most organizations. And those roles are database administrator, data engineer, and data analyst. So let's go through these one by one. First, let's understand what is a job responsibility of a database administrator. This could be an Azure database administrator as well. An Azure database administrator is responsible for the design, implementation, maintenance, and operational aspect of on-premises and cloud-based database solutions built on Azure Data Services and SQL Server. They are responsible for the overall availability and consistent performance and optimization of the database solutions. They work with the stakeholders to implement policies, tools, and processes for backup and recovery plans. The database administrator is also responsible for managing the security of the data in the database, granting privileges over the data, and granting or denying access to users as appropriate. The second role is a data engineer role. A data engineer collaborates with stakeholders to design and implement data-related assets that include data ingestion pipelines, cleansing, and transformation activities, and data stores for analytical workloads. They use a wide range of data platform technologies, including relational and non-relational databases for file stores and data streams. Data engineers are also responsible for ensuring that the privacy of the data is maintained within the cloud and spanning from on-premises to the cloud data store. And data engineer also own the management and monitoring of the data stores and data pipelines to ensure that data loads perform as expected. And the third role we are going to understand today is all about data analyst role. A data analyst enables business to maximize the value of the data assets. They are responsible for designing and building scalable models, cleansing and transforming data, and enabling advanced analytics capabilities through reports and visualizations. A data analyst processes raw data into relevant insight based on identified business requirement to deliver relevant insights. Let's understand some of the common tools database administrators use. Most database management systems provide their own set of tools to assist with database administration. For example, SQL Server database administrators use SQL Server Management Studio. Other systems have their own database-specific interfaces as well, such as PG Admin for PostGRE SQL systems or MySQL Workbench for MySQL. There are also a number of cross-platform database administration tools available as well. One example is Azure Data Studio. So let's understand what is Azure Data Studio. Azure Studio provides a graphical user interface for managing many different database systems. It currently provides connections to on-premises SQL Server databases, Azure SQL Database, PostGRE SQL, Azure SQL Data Warehouse, 
and SQL Server Big Data clusters, among others. It's an extensible tool and you can download and install extensions from third-party developers that connect to other systems or provide wizards that help to automate many administrative tasks. What is an SQL Server Management Studio? SQL Server Management Studio provides a graphical interface enabling you to query data, perform general database administration tasks, and generate scripts for automating database maintenance and support operations. This example picture I mentioned over here shows that SQL Management Studio is being used to back up a database. A useful feature of SQL Server Management Studio is the ability to generate transact SQL script for almost all the functionality that SSMS provides. This gives the DBA the ability to schedule and automate many common tasks. Another option is to use the Azure portal to manage Azure SQL Database. Azure SQL Database provides database services in Azure. It's similar to SQL Server, except that it runs in the cloud. You can manage the Azure SQL Database using the Azure portal. Typical configuration tasks such as increasing the database size, creating a new database, and deleting an existing database are done using the Azure portal. You can use the Azure portal to dynamically manage and adjust resources such as data storage size and the number of cores available for the database processing. These tasks would require the support of a system administrator if you are running the database on-premises. Let's understand some of the common data engineering tools. To master data engineering, you will need to be familiar with a range of tools that enable you to create a well-designed databases optimized for the business processes that will be run. You must have a thorough understanding of the architecture of the database management system, the platform on which the system runs, and the business requirements for the data being stored in the database. If you are using a relational database management system, you need to be fluent in SQL and you must be able to use SQL to create databases, tables, indexes, views, and other objects required by the database. In some cases, you may need to interact with the database from a command line. Many database management systems provide a command line interface that supports these operations. For example, you can use the SQL CMD utility to connect to the Microsoft SQL Server and Azure SQL Database and run ad hoc queries and commands. Let's look at some of the common tools used by data analysts. Data analysts are responsible for understanding what data actually means. A skilled data analyst will explore the data and use it to determine trends, issues, and gain other insights that might be of benefit to the company. A large part of the data analyst's role is concerned with communication and visualization. Data visualization is a key to presenting large amounts of information in ways that are universally understandable or easy to interpret and spot patterns, trends, and correlations. These representations include charts, graphs, infographics, and other pictorial diagrams. A good data analyst requires experience and skill in reporting tools such as Microsoft Power BI and SQL Server reporting services. Traditionally, many data analysts used Microsoft Office apps such as Microsoft Excel for creating rich visual reports. Many analysts now use Microsoft Power BI, a powerful visualization platform, to create rich graphical dashboards and reports over data that can vary dynamically. This image shows an example of a dashboard created using Power BI. In this example, the analyst is using Power BI to examine retail sales data for items sold across multiple stores and districts. The metrics compare this year's performance to last year's for sales, units, gross margin, and variance as well as new store analysis. Alright, so that concludes this lesson. In the next video, 
we're going to talk about describing concepts of relational data. So I will see you in the next one. Till then, take care.